Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Aircraft carriers are large and powerful warships that serve as the centerpiece of modern naval fleets. They are specifically designed to operate as mobile air bases, capable of carrying and launching various types of fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. The deployment of aircraft carriers requires careful coordination and collaboration with other naval assets such as surface combatants, submarines, and support ships to form a formidable naval task force. Today, we want to show you the eight most interesting latest aircraft carriers in the world. Vikrant The INS Vikrant is the first India's indigenous aircraft carrier. It is also the largest warship ever built in India. Development of such a complex warship signifies a high degree of India's self-reliance in this field. It was commissioned with the Indian Navy in 2022. The INS Vikrant can carry up to 36 aircraft and helicopters. The hangar accommodates a total of 17 aircraft and helicopters, while remaining 19 can be stored on the flight deck. There are two elevators. The INS Vikrant is fitted with sky jump and has two takeoff runways. Main weapons of the INS Vikrant are its fighter aircraft. It will carry a mix of MiG-29K and Indian carrier-borne version of the HAL Tejas and possibly Sea Harrier. The multi-role MiG-29K will be the primary air superiority and ground attack aircraft. The ship will also carry Ka-31 early warning helicopters, Ka-28 anti-submarine helicopters, HAL drove utility helicopters, and possibly helicopters of other types. Defensive weapons of the INS Vikrant will include Israeli long-range air defense missiles. Price of the newly built INS Vikrant is around $7 billion, while its aircraft cost another $5 to $8 billion. Izumo The Izumo class is a new type of helicopter carrier of the Japan's Marine Self-Defense Forces. Two ships of this class were planned. The lead ship Izumo was launched in 2013. It was commissioned in 2015. It is the biggest Japanese warship since the World War II. The Izumo class helicopter carriers are multi-role ships. These can conduct amphibious operations and anti-submarine warfare. This class provides the maritime self-defense force with greater force projection capability. This helicopter carrier bears a strong resemblance to a light aircraft carrier. The Izumo is even larger than the Italian Cavour, Spanish Principe de Austrias, and some other light aircraft carriers. However, the Izumo class ships are referred to as helicopter destroyers in Japan for political reasons. It is against Japanese constitution to operate what is referred to as offensive weapons and exceeds necessary level of self-defense. The helicopter destroyer classification is not correct, as these ships are significantly larger than destroyers have a full-length flight deck and relatively large air wing. The flight deck has five helicopter landing spots for simultaneous takeoffs and landings. The Izumo-class ships can carry 14 helicopters. Maximum number of helicopters carried is 28. However, it is claimed that typical air wing during peacetime will be seven anti-submarine warfare and two search and rescue helicopters. Apart from helicopters, these ships can also accommodate F-35B stealthy multi-role fighters with short takeoff and vertical landing capability and V-22 Osprey till rotor transports. Queen Elizabeth Two Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers were ordered by the Royal Navy. The first of the class, HMS Queen Elizabeth, was laid down in 2009. It became operational with the Royal Navy in 2017. The sister ship, HMS Prince of Wales, was laid down in 2011. It was commissioned in 2019. These are the largest warships ever built for the Royal Navy. The Queen Elizabeth class warships are capable of carrying over 40 aircraft and helicopters. These aircraft carriers can operate F-35B stealthy multi-role fighters with short takeoff and vertical landing capability. These fighters will perform air defense, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. Air Group might also include WAH-64 Apache attack helicopters. The hangar accommodates up to 20 fixed-wing aircraft or helicopters. 
These aircraft carriers have two elevators for their aircraft. Each elevator can lift two F-35 or similar aircraft from the hangar to the flight deck within 60 seconds. The Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers are armed with Phalanx close-in weapon systems to counter airborne threats and 30mm naval guns to counter seaborne threats. In 2018, it was announced that the final cost for both carriers was $7.9 billion. $3.95 billion per carrier, plus another $7.4 billion for initial F-35B stealthy multi-role fighters. Gerald R. Ford The Gerald R. Ford class is a fleet of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers being developed by the Newport News Shipbuilding Division of Huntington Ingalls Industry for the U.S. Navy. The first ship in the class, USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, was delivered to the U.S. Navy in May 2017 and commissioned in July 2017. The aircraft carrier completed a multi-week final deployment composite training unit exercise for certification as a combat-deployable U.S. warship in April 2023. The second carrier, USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79, was christened and launched in December 2019. The vessel is scheduled for delivery to the Navy in July 2025, while further ships of the class Enterprise and Doris Miller are expected to be delivered in March 2028 and February 2032, respectively. With a displacement of approximately 100,000 tons, the Gerald R. Ford class is larger than its predecessor, the Nimitz class, but accommodates between 500 and 900 fewer crew members. The Ford-class ships will have 23 new or upgraded systems compared to the Nimitz-class carriers. The Gerald R. Ford-class can be armed with the Raytheon Evolved Sea Sparrow missile, which defends against high-speed, highly maneuverable anti-ship missiles. The close-in weapon system is the rolling anti-frame missile from Raytheon and Ramses. Each of the Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carriers will carry an air wing consisting of 85 fixed-wing aircraft, vertical and or short takeoff and landing aircraft, helicopters or unmanned aerial vehicles. Cavour The Cavour light aircraft carrier, which was originally to be called the Andrea Doria, is a new flagship of the Italian Navy. It was designed to operate V-Stole aircraft, helicopters, and serve as a command center. The Cavour light aircraft carrier can also transport military personnel and vehicles. Typical air group is a mix of 2024 20, V-Stole aircraft and helicopters. This aircraft carrier operates Boeing AV-8B Harrier II plus V-Stole aircraft. In the near future, these will be replaced by Lockheed Martin F-35B stealthy multi-role fighters. The Cavour can also accommodate heavy transport helicopters. The runway for takeoff length is 600 feet, 183 meters. The Cavour is fitted with a sky jump ramp. A flight deck can accommodate 10 to 12 aircraft, 6 helicopters, plus a dedicated SAR helicopter. This vessel allows flight operations up to the Sea State 6. The Cavour aircraft carrier is armed with two 8-cell vertical launch systems for 32 Aster-15 surface-to-air missiles. The Aster-15 has a range of 18 miles, 30 kilometers. Other weapons include two Odo Melara 76mm super rapid guns and three Orlikon Contraves KBA 25mm anti-aircraft guns. Countermeasures of this aircraft carrier include two 20-barrel decoy launchers and anti-torpedo defense system. Shandong China President Xi Jinping has commissioned the country's first regionally built aircraft carrier, Shandong, during a ceremony in Sanya Hainan in 2019. Shandong's class was initially suspected to be designated Type 001A, but was revealed to be Type 002 at its commissioning ceremony. The ship is China's second aircraft carrier. The commissioning of the carrier represents another key milestone in China's efforts to modernize its military. Up to 44 aircraft can be carried by the Shandong, including 32 fighters and 12 helicopters. 
At present, the planned air wing consists of 32 J-15s air superiority fighters, 6 Z-18Fs anti-submarine and anti-ship helicopters, 4 Z-18Js airborne early warning helicopters, and 2 Z-9Cs utility helicopters. The Type 002 class uses 3 Type 1130 CIWS, the same system used on the previous Liaoning aircraft carrier. One Type 1130 incorporates 11 barrels and is said to possess a firing rate of 11,000 rounds per minute and is reported to intercept anti-ship missiles with speeds of up to Mach 4 with a success rate of no less than 96%. China's new aircraft carriers also come with three HHQ-10 surface-to-air missile systems with 18 cells each. The HHQ-10 system can operate with full autonomy and has a reaction time of around 6 to 8 seconds. Fujian The Fujian is a new Chinese aircraft carrier. It is being referred to as Type 003. This is the first aircraft carrier built in China to a fully indigenous design. It was launched in 2022. This aircraft carrier should enter service with the Chinese Navy in 2024 to 2025. It will become China's third aircraft carrier and the flagship of the Chinese Navy. The Fujian is significantly larger than previous Chinese aircraft carriers. It is actually nearly as large as the U.S. Ford-class nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. This aircraft carrier is fitted with electromagnetic catapults. Such catapults enable the launch of bigger aircraft with heavier payloads and more fuel. Judging from the size of the Fujian, this carrier can accommodate around 60 aircraft. It will operate J-15 series fighters. In 2021, China ordered another 55 improved J-15 series fighters that will form the air wing of the Fujian. So far, the J-15 is the only China carrier-based fighter. Defensive armaments include three 30mm close-in weapon systems. It is a version of the Type 1130 fitted with ASA radar. Other defensive weapons might include short-range air defense missiles and anti-submarine rocket launchers. Peng The Peng is a next-generation nuclear-powered aircraft carrier under development for the French Navy. The new aircraft carrier will replace Charles de Gaulle, the first French nuclear-powered vessel. The Peng will be bigger and more powerful than its predecessor Charles de Gaulle. Construction on the aircraft carrier is expected to commence in 2025, while its commissioning is scheduled for 2038. The preliminary design phase of the vessel was launched in March 2021, and the first sea trials are expected to take place in 2036. With a displacement of approximately 75,000 tons, the Peng vessel will be able to carry up to 30 new generation maritime variants of the new generation fighter NGF aircraft and remote carrier vehicles UCAV, being deployed in the future combat air systems program. In addition to new generation fighter aircraft, the vessel's air wing will also include an undisclosed number of Dassault Rafale M multi-role fighter aircraft, E-2D Hawkeye airborne early warning, and control aircraft, helicopters, and unmanned aerial vehicles to support new generation fighter aircraft. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the aircraft carriers you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.